friends, it's Amber from Amber Plants Her Day and I'm super excited to come on and share with you two brand new Mojo Jojo Plants sticker books. So we have Date It 2.0 and this is going to be a very thick sticker book as you can see. We will go through in a very in-depth flip through of this but I wanted to show you guys it is full of everything you need to date a um, spread or a planner or redating things, anything like that, the sticker book is going to be perfect for. And then we also have series one functional boxes. So we have a book full of the header size boxes. These are great for, well, I use them for like layering with different things to help me kind of stay organized on times of meetings and different things like that. So let's look through this first. We're gonna see the colors that we typically see from Mojo Dodo Plans, all of her rainbow colors, but they're all going to be this header size box. So of course we get a bunch of black. I'm counting as we go three pages of black. Then we have our bright red and our more darker, deeper maroonish red. And then you do get half and half. And then you have full bright orange full peachy orange, and then half and half, full bright yellow, light yellow, half and half, brighter green, darker pine green, half and half, royal blue, sky blue, half and half, purple, light purple, half and half, sorry, bright pink, light pink, half and half, and then we have gray. So this one is a little bit of a cooler gray and then this one's a little bit warmer. Then you have half and half, and you have brown, and lighter brown, and then half and half. So that is functional boxes. And then let's look at the date it 2.0. So we have all of the days of the week plus the abbreviations. This is on paper. You also have the little colons there. And then you have a page that's on clear. And then you have the um, stacked days, which people have been using and I've been obsessed with. It looks so fun. That's paper and that's clear. And then here's Friday through Sunday. You also get 2024 and then you get the number 31 and then you get clear there. And then we have one through 30, which is why 31 is on those recent pages. And you have one, two, three, four, five of those and both of those were paper and then you have a page of clear then we have some months of the year some are stacked and some are not paper and clear and then we have the rest of the months paper and clear and then we have some smaller sized months those are all paper and all clear and then we have some larger numbers oh those are so fun and clear and then we have smaller numbers these are perfect for uh, your monthly view if it's an undated planner and then we have paper of our holidays so we have new year's eve new year's day martin luther king jr day independence day easter labor day april fool's day mardi gras thanksgiving earth day pride month memorial day mother's day valentine's day cinco de mayo juneteenth halloween saint patrick's day father's day kwanzaa kwanzaa begins my birthday hanukkah president's day christmas rosh hashanah hanukkah begins christmas eve daylight savings Daylight saving time begins, daylight saving time ends, Dia de los Muertos, Pride Day, uh, Indigenous Peoples Day, First Day of Spring, First Day of Summer, First Day of Fall, First Day of Winter, Veterans Day, and then a bunch of birthday at the bottom. That was paper and that was clear. And then we have another font. This one is a little bit more cursive. And then you have the days of the week and the abbreviations, paper and clear. And again, those stacked letters and that cursive on paper and clear, paper and clear and clear for the rest of the days of the week and then we have the same two paper one clear of those numbers and then we have um, the months the first part of the months and then we'll have the second part of the month and we have smaller months paper and clear we have a bunch of numbers and then again the 2024 clear and then we have the dating a monthly we have those same holidays paper and clear and then our last font we have this really fun um like I don't know what to call it um it has like the block cut out of the letters so we have our days of the week and then this. all of these have been paper so far just want to double check yes paper 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 numbers on paper paper 
the abbreviations, smaller, and then look how fun these months are. And then you have for, these are on paper as well, this would be for your monthly view. And then you have your holidays. So that is Date It 2.0. We're gonna use both of these sticker books plus Fall Memories, volume two, and the Spiderweb sticker sheet from Amor Plants Her Day to create a Halloween tracking, uh, Halloween costume tracking page for my kids. So we're gonna have some Halloween colors. Well, I guess I kind of wanna see what designs I'm gonna use from here because I don't have a bunch of Halloween stickers. Actually, I'm probably just gonna rip those out because I'm probably gonna use all of them. But I'm guessing so orange and maybe pink. Maybe I'll do orange for the boys and pink for the girls. So we have orange and orange. And then let's go to the pink. Let me find it. We wanna do that lighter pink. Two, three, two, one, two, three. Then I'm gonna take my Sarasa mark on I'm gonna write their names. Vinny, Rose, Ezra, Malachi, and Amelia. Now I'm gonna write what they want to be. He wants to be Spider-Man or Spin. And then I want to write where we can buy it from at Sam's Club. And then the price. Right now, this week, um, Sam's Club has this deal where they have like $10 off the costumes. So some of them are $20 and some of them are $30, I wanna say. Malachi also wants to be Spider-Man, but he doesn't want to be Spin. He just wants to be Spider-Man. So if they have a Spin costume, uh, he'll be Spin, but if not, they'll both be Spider-Man. And then that one's also gonna be at Sam's Club and that one will be $20. Then for Amelia, she wants to be, there's a few things. So I'm writing down kind of all of their ideas. She wants to be Miss Dracula, Lady Dracula, Mula, a spooky princess, or I think there's one other thing, but I think like this was the top, top pick. Spooky princess, she like could not come up with the words for, but I know that we're gonna have to go to Walmart for hers and that it will also be $20. And she wants fake blood. She's getting into spooky season for real this time. Ezra wants to be Minnie Mouse or a rainbow unicorn. And that is gonna be from Sam's Club. And those ones are a little bit of the more expensive ones. So that would be the $30 costume. Rose wants to be a princess or a mermaid. And that is from Sam's Club. And that one is $30. Okay, so then I want to date this up here. I want to do October, I think. Like, is it days of the week first? Okay, so I need to find October. Hang on, apparently I am not keeping track. Okay, here we go, of where I'm at. Um, okay, that is, that is, and right here. Okay, I'm using the paper one. October 2023, 20, and then I wanna write Halloween costumes. And then we'll probably take the kids to the store this weekend, if everything goes good, so that they can pick out their costumes. But having an idea, because I don't know, I hope not, but I don't know if I'm the only one who has kids who's like, oh yeah, mom, I want to be Minnie Mouse and I want to be a rainbow unicorn and I want to be Spider-Man and I want to be um, Lady Dracula. And then we get to the store and they're like, wait a minute, I could be Hulk? Wait a minute, I could be like, you know, like Belle or, or, you know, just anything random. And I'm like, well, yeah, you could have picked that. So this is more of their brainstorm, like, oh, this could be really fun to be this or that. Kind of let them pick it out and focus on what they actually want to be closer to uh, the actual shopping time. I'm trying to think if I want to do any other spider webs. Um, I don't think so, but I am gonna go grab a marker, a brush pen to letter right here. Okay, so I have my Rytec sign brush pen and I'm just gonna write Halloween. Halloween costumes. And perfect. That is so cute. It turned out adorable. And 
I used the new Series 1 Functional Boxes and the Dated 2.0 from Mojo Jojo Plans. Both of them release tomorrow, Friday, October 6th at 9 a.m. Mountain Time on mojo-jojoplans.com. Jo mojo you can use code AMBER10 for 10% off of your purchase. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you miss any future videos of mine. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.